Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. Hello, my name is Theodor. My name is Andras. Today we will be talking about uh, a binocular series by Steiner. This is the Navigator Pro. Mm -hmm. So these are marine binoculars and we could say an entry level. Uh, marine binoculars, so in, in the price point they are under Commander yeah. series. Yeah. Do you know anything about the history of let's say the Navigator Pro series or this type of binoculars in general? Well, to be honest, ever since we are dealing with optics, this is for the last nine years or something like that, the Steiner always had the Commander and Navigator. But the first it was Navigator, then it was Navigator XP, then it was Navigator Pro, so they update their series regularly. Uh, and they always, you, you always know what to expect from a Navigator. It doesn't matter which generation it is, you know, okay, I'm getting almost all the same features like on the Commander, but I'm getting a little bit uh, lower build quality, I'm getting a little bit lower optical performance and so on, but I gain uh, in, in price because the price is really affordable on the Navigator Pro. We know that the smallest model is around 360 euros without the compass, the biggest model is around 580 euros with the compass. So we have four models in this series. Uh, 7 by 30, 7 by 30 with compass, which is lacking at the moment, 7 by 50 and 7 by 50 with compass. So all 7 time magnification, which is optimal for marine use and each model is either equipped with a compass or without a compass. The compass is also illuminated, you have a button here where you can turn on the illumination. During the daytime there is a small window here where the sunlight goes in and then Again, you have an illuminated value, uh, how well the degrees of, of compass for the direction in which you are viewing. I would say that the looks of these binoculars are quite legendary. So yeah. they've stuck to this uh, form factor for years. You know how it is? It's like even if someone else produces maybe a, a little bit better marine binoculars in, in terms of optical performance for the same price point, you're not able to beat the looks and uh, the, I would say this traditional shape, the ruggedness, from, uh, the ruggedness right? from, from Steiner because it's like when you see these binoculars you know these are the true classic marine binoculars. It's like and they also I would say own this market. Um, to be honest there are some cases where Nikon and Bushnell and lately Minox is trying to, to get into this market but it's really really hard and when you go to the premium segments of the marine market it's only Steiner because the Steiner is so dominating, dominating this, uh, this market. I think they were also the first uh, manufacturer of binoculars who introduced binoculars with a, um, with a compass. And I think they were one of the first who did the binoculars which were filled with nitrogen so that there was no internal fogging. So they're really a pioneer in, in, in building binoculars. And lately, I would say for the last 20 or 30 years, they're also really strong into producing uh, military binoculars, which are really similar to this 7x50 binoculars we have here on, on the table. So, uh, if you look at them, they are really wide. This yeah. is because they're using poro prisms, right? So and really short. Yeah. They're really, really short. Really. <laughs> Typically, yeah. they are, the binoculars are longer than that. They are wider, but now it's the, yeah. really the opposite. It's really, it's, it's quite funny because when you look all other binoculars uh, in a 7x50 configuration with poro prism, they're all longer. But Steiner is really, really compact, really, uh, really short and, and also nicely made. And I can see that there is no focusing button. No. They, they call it this uh, Steiner autofocus or sport autofocus. It depends on which year. I think they started with Steiner autofocus, now it's sport autofocus. So what you basically do uh, with all Ranger Pro, uh, not Ranger, the Navigator, Navigator Pro, yeah. uh, during the daytime you take an object at let's say 200 meters or 150 meters or something like that, a distant object, and then you close one eye first and start to adjust the, the eye which has the image until the observed object is completely sharp, so in focus. Then you close and you open the second tube and now you you're focusing, you repeat the same process and now you're focusing the other, the other tube and then you open both of them and you're able to, to really see a nice image. This uh, sport autofocus has its advantages, the main advantage is it's really watertight. 
there is no focusing mechanism anywhere. So these binoculars are really watertight, which is a must on a, on a marine use on a boat. So this is the first thing. The second thing is uh, all the elements, the water, the sun and everything these binoculars are exposed to while in use. If you have a separate uh, focusing mechanism, it will suffer, definitely. If you have nothing except uh, this sport out of focus, it will last longer. And third but not least, uh, in low light conditions, it is easier for the eye to, to, to focus uh, when you have your focus already set and you just leave it on the setting. And when you're looking in low light, you're able to distinguish uh, what you're seeing and you're never in a, in a state when you're questioning what if I have to focus traditionally because with central focusing binoculars when there is a low light situation you always have a problem how to focus if you're not able to see well what you're looking at because of the lack of light. So this is a big advantage of, of sport out of focus. The, the disadvantage is however when you're looking at the objects which are really close. So when you're looking at stuff which is on 20 meters, 30 meters or something like that, it's a little bit problematic. Not to speak about the objects which are, let's say, 5 meters away, then it's a problem. Because with central focusing you're able to focus on really close distances. With this sport out of focus this is a little bit problematic. I know that with some, with some marine binoculars there is mm -hmm. a, an, an option of buying a floating strap yeah. so that the binoculars, uh, I would say, remain on the surface of the water. If they when, fall, if they the fall boat, in the yeah. water. You, can you also get this accessory with Steiner? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they really have nice yellow uh, colored uh, So that you can straps. also see it immediately yeah. when it falls in water. And when it floats. Uh, what is also interesting with Steiner, I think that currently they are the only binoculars, they have this click system. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, when you just push in the, the, the straps like this and you click them in, I think and then this is really simple because people often have to look on the on the YouTube for guides when how they, to how to adjust this, how to yeah. adjust the strap and so on. With this Here it's simple. really really simple. You just click it click it in and it already holds. It holds. Then if you want to loosen it up, you just have to push inside here, and then you're able to pull it out. So this click clever, system clever it's solution. a really clever solution, uh, a really nice one. Uh, the eyepieces, as you can see, they are non-adjustable. So, not the best solution no. for uh, eyeglass wearers. Yeah, and they also like don't provide the, the information what is the eye relief on any of those models. If you want to use it with glasses, like myself, I have astigmatism, you have to do it like this. And this is like a, a perfect recipe to damage the eyepieces in the long run. Yeah, and they also um, don't mm -hmm. always hold this position, they like to pop up, yeah, back, like, right? like this so it's uh, it's a little bit problematic so the eyepieces but normally they are far more robust than with uh, with uh, any other type of eyepieces what do you gain with the commander oh a lot you gain far better light transmission rate you gain far better uh, field of view you gain uh, better optical definition you gain better uh, build quality, better materials and so on, however for a much higher price. So it really depends because the, I would say the Navigator Pro are a bargain for what they are offering. Normally the Commander, they are premium so this German is like made binoculars. A, yeah, German made, this is like for a, a perfect for someone who is a beginner sailor yeah. or would like to try and observe at sea and something like that. With the Commander it's more for I don't know, professionals for true, true. Uh, Steiner doesn't say where these are made, even though I would say from the quality standpoint of view, they're really a good purchase. Especially if you look at the price point, it's like 500 euros for a really good, decent marine binoculars. Um, but uh, they used to have a, a sign uh, Steiner Germany on them. Now it's you're not able to find anywhere where they are made. Uh, but it's not a problematic because the, the quality is here, the product is well made. It doesn't matter if it's made in Japan or in Philippines or who knows where. Um, you get ocular covers and objective covers all mm -hmm. made out of rubber. Yeah. Strap, cloth. And all in blue color. Yeah, so uh, that matches the sea. Yeah, true. 
I, I think still the design is perfect. The design, the design is, really, is really, it's really, really legendary. Nice. Yeah. Perfect type for a marine use. I am, when I think of marine binoculars, I think of this from Yeah, and you, you think about Steiner yeah. <laughs> when you're talking about yeah, marine binoculars. Yeah, to be binoculars. honest, yeah. yeah. What is the warranty period on these? I think it's uh, 10 years. On the Commander, it's uh, 30 years. So really nice period. Yeah, yeah. And they're really nice, uh, nice pair of binoculars. So we went through what is positive. So the form factor, the build quality, the sport autofocus, uh, uh, the ability to have the compass, which has an internal mechanical scale. So you're, you don't have a display somewhere where you would need the batteries and so on. It works always. And you always see in the lower, in the lower 20% of the field of view, you see the, the display for the, for the compass. Um, what the, are the, the fact that they're waterproof, I think, is also yeah. a major plus. When yeah, and really, and really waterproof. Yeah. They also offer service possibility. So for 150 euros plus tax, or 200 euros, let's say, or something like that, I forgot the exact amount, you're able to service them completely, even if they are completely damaged and so on. We once uh, sent back a commander which was in three pieces. The compass was tor the torn apart and the central uh, tube was torn apart. Um, and they still mended it. They, they repaired it for this 250 or 300 or something like that. Really not a huge amount of money. They fixed it completely. It was like new. Um, so, so this is service a service department is really great. Yeah, true. Um, what is the downside? What do you think? Well, they're not a commander, obviously. Yeah, okay. But, okay. But they okay. don't cost as much. They yeah. don't cost as much as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that for eyeglass wearers, this, uh, this solution is not the best. The eyepiece is not the best, yeah. Apart uh, from that, I don't know. Field of view? <laughs> field of view 123 as well, yeah. meters on, on 1000 meters for a 7 time magnification is not really great. It's not really great because yeah. uh, you would expect that from a 10 times, perhaps. Almost. Well, 10 for times, 10 times, it would be great. For 8 times. For 8 times, yeah. it would be. Also, for 8 times, it wouldn't be great. But for 7 by 50 or 7 by 30, it should be bigger. Um, and that's about it. When we. They're a little bit bulky, but okay, everybody expects this from, from a marine binocular. We have some individual reviews also on these ones. Feel free mm -hmm. to check this video and this. You, I'm sure you'll find information useful. See you in that video. Bye. Bye.